So, all right. So the next um, option we're passing is wrapper. And our wrapper has a class of dot wrapper. Sorry, not dot, just wrapper. <laughs> dot is just <laughs> That is just the CSS um, convention of specifying classes. Okay, just to, um, just a second. I'm sure some of you guys will be like, okay, where are you getting all these values from? So let's just um, write out all the options. And then when we're done, we'll go back to our HTML and then I'll show you where these values are coming from and why we're doing it this way. Okay. So for the left trans next 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 option we're passing is left transparent element so it's left transparent element that's the opaque box on the left hand side of our carousel that other images pass under and it will be like they have shadows over them okay and that has a class of left transparent and then i'm sure you've guessed it the next option is right transparent element all right and that has a class of right transparent and the next option is carousel item and this carousel item will be the class that we set to each of the images that will be inside of our carousel So next, we're going to pass in a custom height of 400 pixels. Okay. And then after the custom height, the left link, which has a class of left link, as you guessed it, I'm sure. And right link, which also has a class of right link. Next, we're going to pass in the option for the class which is associated with the scroll buttons container. And guys, scroll buttons container is the UL tag which contains the LI tags of those small um, numbers just underneath our jQuery carousel. And they have a class of, it has a class of scroll buttons. And then after that, in the elements inside the scroll buttons container, all of them have a class of scroll button. So we'll just pass that in as well. Okay, and last but not the least, as you've noticed, our slider has a functionality which enables it to auto scroll on its own. So depending on whether we want it to auto scroll or not, we're going to pass in and extra options so if we pass in these options that mean this option that means we are telling the slider to auto scroll but if we don't pass in this op option or even if we pass it in and then set it to false it means that we don't want our slider to auto scroll so a user will have to click on the next and the previous link to make it move items okay so in our demonstration we're going to pass that in as true so we have to call it auto slide and then true okay that seems to be about right all right so now let's go into our plugins file and start writing actually the rest of our plugin so now guys we're going to follow some best practices we're not going to put everything in our plugin into one big function as we did in the last tutorial for example in this function um, here we're not going to put everything here we're going to put it in sub function so this function here will have to call another function and then we'll we'll call that function ls advanced slider so remember this value that we've cached here is going to represent this function over here so this function so first what we're going to do is we're going to create a function and then we're going to call it ls advanced slider and what that function is going to accept is an element which is whatever element we've targeted so in this case that element will be carousel outer because this is what we called our jquery plugin on 
So back in our plugin file, okay, it accepts an element which we we've already said what it means, and then next is going to accept list of settings which will override the defaults for our plugin. So settings. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to write the defaults for our plugin. So just to keep it simple, we're going to write one default just for now. And if as we're going along and then we remember to write another default setting, um, we're going to do that anyway over there. And guys, feel free. You don't have to write exactly the amount of defaults that I have. You can write less or more. It depends on what you want. But just to make this as simple as possible, we're going to just have one default.